Give him heaven podcast, you tuning in with brother Brian Yo Who is this that walks on water? Come on Who is this to split the sea? The one that called the holy father The one who sent his son for me He say he is the broken hearted Yo Say he loves us all the same He came to take us out of the darkness hey. Can someone please tell me his name yeah. He's the great I am He's the great I am, hey. He's the great I am. That's right He's the great I am hey. King Jesus He's the great I am yes, He's the great I am hey. He's the great I am hey. Drinking liquor, man, it's smoking weed, just polluting me Hypocrites quote a scripture, yeah, that confuses me I'm still a friend to the ones I know who ain't true to me I'm still a friend even though I know you like using me I can't pretend to be something I know I'm not So I'm, I'm holding on to the Lord cause that's all I got, man You ever sit back and wonder why you ain't growing You wonder why you ain't glowing like you don't know where you going Hey, you can choose to be mad at me, that's okay But let me share some truth with you, then you go on your way One, hey, you need a teachable heart I could tell that you get mad though when I speak to your heart You got evil, you got pride, you got deceit in your heart That needs to flee from your heart Let me plant a seed in your heart and help it grow Oh, this world could be cold, but the living water of Christ could penetrate through your soul It could cleanse you from within, then it works on the outside Your spirit man looks thirsty, I can tell cause your mouth dry Holy, 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 holy is his name A-J-E-S-U-S, I tell all your partners the same Tell all your partners the fame, tell all your partners the slain They better make a change if they don't then they won't remain uh, You'll be a victim of statistics of the murder rate And after that you will enter into the pearly gates Burning the lake, you can't escape, man, all the human scream The men and women who suffer for doing stupid things The great I am, so merciful and so kind I pray that you repent, that you repent while it's the time, yo hey. Who is this that walks on water? Who is this that split the sea? The one that called the Holy Father The one who sent his son for me He say he is a broken hearted Said he loves us all the same. He came to take us out of the darkness. Come on, y'all. Can someone please tell me his name? He's the great I am. He's the great I am. Give him heaven, y'all. He's the great I am. That's right. He's the great I am. Welcome, your Holy Spirit. He's the great I am. He's the great I am. Welcome, your Holy Spirit. He's the great I am. He's the great I am. Take my hand, take my hand, say this name. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, give him a heaven you live with Brother Brian, man. Tuning in. Everybody who watched the live feed today, man, it's been awesome. I told everybody, please, please, please bring a paper and a pen. So if, if you brought a paper and a pen today, then I want you, if you brought a paper and a pen today, I want you to let me know. Hashtag say, I got my paper and a pen. Before we go, I'm not going to keep you all night. I told you guys this would be life-changing if you came expecting. If you came expecting, you got your paper and your pen, get ready. We're going to go forward into this. You're going to love this. Can I? Can you say love this? Come on, deal with me, Holy Spirit. You're going to love this. It's beautiful, y'all. This, so, this is so awesome right now. Get your paper and your pen. I got my paper and my pen. I see you, Nora. Amen. I got my paper. Gabriel, everybody. Yes, I see the soldiers, man. You came expecting. Even if it was just two of you or one of you, you came expecting. And you know what? God is going to do something for every single one of you. Thank you for getting your paper and your pen and coming expecting. That's how you activate your faith, baby. That's what you do. Okay, get your paper and your pen. Give If you didn't... Tune in, you was at work, you didn't see it. I got on earlier, I, I, I said a prayer for encouragement for the day, just thanking you guys, but I wanted to see you guys walk in freedom. And I just want to let y'all know, for those that don't know how the ministry started, it was through the death of my twin brother. 
Ryan Keith, the one we call Woo Woo. The one we say Woo Woo. You know what I mean? It's, it go Woo. You see him? That's Woo Woo. I put him on there, man. It's, it's, it's a special cup to me. My brother DZ make that cup, man. Uh, but my brother didn't get to see this man I am today. Ryan didn't get to see. Woo didn't get to see the, the ministry grow like this. He, God gave him a vision of the ministry. God showed him the ministry. Before I could ever see it, God showed him the ministry. He used to always tell me, man, he used to say, bro, they're not going to feel, feel me till I'm dead, bro, what God's doing in my life. And the dude would just keep working. He would keep working and, and trying to trying to follow God. And, he, you know, he failed in some areas, man. I, I watched my brother have defeats and victories. And I wish he was here, man. I wish he was here to see the man that, that God has made as a kingdom man. But it took my brother's death for me to become this man. You know what I mean? And, that, and, and that's a bummer to me sometimes because I was like, Lord, if he would have just seen what you were doing. But but he, 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 God gave him his own glimpse of what he was going to do. And my brother's death, man, uh, he was innocent. You know, he was murdered innocently, man. And he got caught up in a humble where his name got put in something. And, man, they, they actually accused my brother of, of having a part of something that wasn't not, wasn't even it and that's what the enemy does the en enemy always takes the blood of the innocent you know what I mean so when, when Wu got murdered I was angry man because he was innocent and they just they took his life man like they took his life man and it hurt me they had so much anger built inside what well, I wanted them people to pay, man. I wanted them to feel the pain that I was feeling. And maybe you feel like that. Maybe somebody wronged you. Maybe somebody hurt you or hurt somebody you love. And you're like, I don't want to forgive them. You know what I mean? Like, well, this ministry is built on forgiveness, man. That's what I'm getting at. And it, it touched my heart because every day I wake up, I got to forgive the people that killed my brother, man. When I look in the mirror, I see woo and I'm reminded. And I look at the blessings I have. And I don't get to share these blessings with the person I love. Like, like you don't understand. That was my lookalike. That was the other half of me, bro. Like, I had best friends. I've had close people. But this was my other half before me and Monica got married. This was my, my identical mirror, man. He knew what I was feeling. He, like, so for me not to have that, I can't pick up the phone and call him and be like, bro, look what just happened. Or, bro, look what God's doing. Like... There's always going to be that place where Jesus has to feel. This is what I'm saying. It's always going to be that empty part, that wound that's forever there to the day he calls me to heaven. I have a wound inside of me. I have a brokenness inside of me. And the only thing that sustains this wound is the blood of Jesus, the presence of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is the only thing. Marijuana can't fill this hole, man. No, the best surgeon, doctor surgeon in this in this in universe cannot feel or touch the inner part of my heart, the inner man. Only God can go through there. Only God can see that part and say I can heal you if you come to me I can heal you if you allow me and I had to surrender I had to be broken 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 when you see everything I got and you see you see brother Brian man I, I love the ministry I want to be a part of it and you and you look at the uh, 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 of what God's given us it came with a cost man it came with a crushing it came with it came through something that 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 man i didn't want to go through myself i lord take this cup from me is is if it would have been my prayer like why me lord it came with something man i had to be crushed so you, you might see the the fruit of it but you don't know what happened to get there and it hurt it hurt i'm gonna be lying if i said it only hurt some days and the only thing that keeps me healed and the only thing that keeps me filled with, with compassion and forgiveness is Jesus I didn't want to forgive those those dudes who killed my brother they're still alive one I think one passed away the other ones out there and I hope they hear this today because I brought my paper and a pen as well and, and I, I just want to share this with you if you wonder like brother Brian how you doing this or how do you get through this I told God I was like I want to write a book right but I was like I'm not going to wait till the book come out to share the, the keys of freedom. I'm not going to sell them that. Let me give it to them for free. God, you gave it to me for free. Like, I want to do a book, and I, I definitely want to push it out so maybe it, it hits the right people. But today, I'm, I'm just going to give you the keys of freedom, man, because I want you to be set free. I, I love to hear praise your voice. I got set free. So if you got your paper and your pen, I want you to, I want you to get that piece of paper. Listen, and I want you to write hit lists. I want you to write hit lists on it. 
It's a hit list. I want you to put everybody who offended you, everybody who hurt you, everybody who you don't even want to think about, the people that they wronged you so bad, the people that caused you so much pain, the people that caused you tears and heartache and belittled you and put you down and made you feel like nothing, the people you hate to think about, the people that anger when you even when their name even comes up or something that resembles them. I need you to put their name on your hit list right now, please. Take the time, write it. Come on, you came expecting, right? You want to leave, you want to leave free? Be honest. I'm going to go, I'm going to do it all over with you again. My hit list. I got a hit list now that I always got to pray for because the enemy tries to make me hate people and I, and when, and I'll be like, oh, you want, you want them, you want them on my hit list, huh? Okay. So let me write my hit list. Those who sow discord. Those who sow discord in the ministry and amongst relationships. I got good friends and brothers, man, and relationships have been abused by people planting wrong seeds that are lies and deception. And I get angry like, man, that ain't true. And it makes me get angry at them. So to be honest, I put them on my hit list, right? Those who sow discord, those who, those who come against the ministry, those who murders of my brother I miss my brother and, I, and I, I don't hate you guys but I get angry what you did so you, you're on the hit list the, the enemy wants you on the hit list right so I'm gonna put you on the hit list but listen those who killed my brother come on write it down write your stuff be honest with yourself just write it whoever broke your heart whoever just write it don't worry no before you get really Religious or legal listening And I don't want to put that Just do it Listen Remember it's all Jesus over here brother It's all Jesus over here And give you freedom And Jesus Those who hurt My family I'm gonna put someone else on the hit list That some of you don't never Never think about I'm gonna put myself on the hit list me for every time that I I was angry I'm angry at myself for allowing putting my family in situations and putting myself in situations and messing things up ruining good things I'll give you 30 more seconds man just be honest man cry while you're doing it oh it touches a spot it really does hit list come on man make your hit list man please I'm, this is gonna be so and if you if you don't do it tonight Watch the video later and do it. If you, you're, you're like, I'm at work, I'll make the hit list in your head. And I know it hurts to, to, to be reminded of some of these people. I know it hurts to, to remember some of these people. Holy Spirit, have your way, Lord. Have your way. Okay. For those who are participating, Hashtag so I can see. Say I'm participating. Uh. Listen, here we go. Let me see. I'm participating. Let me see who's participating. Thank you, Norm. Okay. All right, here we go. So I want you to have you got your hit list, right? It would have hurt you. It hurt, right? To write these names down. You might even feel the, the anger inside of you. Like, oh, you know? I want you to cross out hit list. Cross it out with a big old X. Cross out the hit list. Big old X. Yep, cross it out. And I want you to tell the enemy right now. Even though it hurts, I want you to renounce it. You ready? Say, I repent. Father God, I repent for having a heart of unforgiveness. I repent for being angry. So anger, angry that the anger poisons me. I renounce that anger. And I renounce the hit list. 
And today, I turn it into a prayer list. Come on. Come on, tell God. Say, I'm turning it into a prayer list. It's not a hit list. It's a prayer list. You ready? I want you to put prayer list at the top. Your hit list is now your prayer list. Yep. You're like, I don't want to pray for them. Listen, your prayer list. Trust me. Trust me. You could trust this. Turn it to your prayer list. And this is what I want you to do. I want you tonight to pray over everybody on that list. Even if you got to cry, if you got to yell, whatever, and say, I don't, whatever you got to do, like a baby, you just got to get it out, get it out your system. But I need you to pray. And I need you to wish good things for those people on that list. I know they don't deserve it. You think the murders of my brother deserve my mercy and forgiveness? No, I don't understand that part. But I do understand that God's ways is better than my ways. I do understand that God's love is stronger than my love. So this is what we're going to say. You ready? You say, I don't know how. I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't know how to. This is what we're going to say. Ready? Mean what you say and say what you mean. I can't make you mean it. I can't make you mean it. I, I'm, just, I'm just pointing you in the way to where your own words will you say. Say, Holy Spirit. The same spirit that rose Jesus from the grave. That same power that resurrected Jesus back to life when he was buried. Jesus, I want to love and forgive again. And I don't know how. These people have done things to me that make me so angry. Can you please teach me how to forgive how you forgive and empower me to do this so it honors you. As I pray for them, I want to mean it. As I pray for them, I want to be set free from anything that the enemy tries to hold over me. Feel me? Here we go. Fill me up right now with your love. Whew. Fill me up, Jesus, with your love. That I can love the way you love, Lord. That I can forgive the way you forgive. I don't want no yuck. I don't want a, a drop or any type of Resentment, bitterness, or poison inside of my heart. I want all of you inside of me, Jesus. All of you. I want, I want your love. I want the way you look at my enemies. I want to look at them through your eyes, God. Fill me up right now, Holy Spirit. Come on. You did that? How do you feel? How do you feel? I feel peace. Can I share some things with you in the, mighty, in the mighty name of Jesus? Why forgiveness and unforgiveness? Unforgiveness is uh, it's not good. Let me, share, let me share something. In Matthew 18, 21, then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? How many times I got to forgive those who hurt me, God? How many times I got to forgive the ones in church, the ones in ministry, these dudes, they're like seven times? He says, 70 times, seven times, meaning it shouldn't be no count. You're going to continue to have to forgive. Look, Jesus said, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. And when he had begun to settle accounts, one was brought to him who owed him 10,000 talents. But as he was not able to pay, his master commanded that he be sold and his with his wife, his children and all that he have and that payments be made. Man, he about to get his whole family sold, right? For being in debt. The servant therefore fell down before him saying, Master, master, have patience with me and I will pay you everything I owe you. Then the master of that servant was moved with compassion and released him and forgave him of his debt. But that servant went out and he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a hundred denarii. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat saying, pay me what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down at his feet and begged him saying, have patience with me and I will pay you everything I owe you. And he would not listen. He took him and he threw him into the prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what he had done, they were very grieved. And they told their master all that had been done. Then his master, after he had called him, said to him, you wicked servant. I forgave you of all the debt because you begged me. Should you not also have had compassion on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due to him. Man, that's deep. So my heavenly father also would do to you, each of you, from his heart, if your heart does not forgive his brother of his trespasses. That's why you got to forgive 
The lesson of the parable is obvious. If the king could forgive the servant's debt of, of that amount, certainly the servant could forgive his friend's debt of the amount that he owed. We forgive others because Christ has forgiven us. Keep this in mind that this has nothing to do with salvation. This is a matter of family forgiveness between siblings in Christ, not between God and the sinner. So do not read internal judgment into that. God is saying, forgive people. Because you have to be forgiven God is saying even in the church amongst your brothers You will be held accountable if you don't forgive those in church Those in the ministry Those, those you claim to love God But you, you don't want to forgive No you do not know Christ if you don't forgive others y'all And it is important If you're ever going to be filled with God's love If you ever want to say that you're saved And you're part you belong to Jesus You're going to have to forgive the way, the way he forgives you one of the evidence that a person is saved is love for the brethren. Christians who cannot forgive others have forgotten what Christ has done for them on the cross. Oh, the world's worst prison is the prison of unforgiving heart. The world's worst prison is a prison of someone who has an unforgiving heart. You have trapped yourself in a place where you have to sit there in that, in that bitter cell. If we refuse to forgive others, then we are only imprisoning ourselves and causing our own torment. Some of the most miserable people I ever met in church and in ministry have been the ones who would not forgive people. They live only to imagine ways to punish these people who had wronged them, but they were really only punishing themselves. Please listen to that. What's wrong with this man? The same thing that is wrong with many other professing Christians. They have received forgiveness, but they have not really experienced forgiveness deep in their hearts. Therefore, they are unable to share forgiveness with those who have wronged them. If we live only according to justice, always seeking to get what is ours, we will put ourselves into prison. But if we live according to forgiveness, sharing with others what God has shared with us, then we will enjoy freedom and joy. Peter asked for just a measuring rod. Jesus told him to practice forgiveness and forget the measuring rod. Keep forgiving, Peter. Keep forgiving, bro. Oh, man, why be? Why put yourself in a bondage in a prison? Why Why tell yourself and lie to yourself that, that you're saved and, and that you belong to Jesus, but the love that you have for others identifies that you don't even belong to Jesus. You don't have forgiveness in your heart. You haven't experienced what God has given you, and you don't share it with others, so you're only deceiving yourself. Oh. 1 Corinthians five six to eight you're glorifying your your glory your glory is not good you do not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump a little leaven leavens the whole lump therefore purge out the old leaven that you may be a new lump since you are truly unleavened for indeed christ our passover was sacrificed for us therefore let us keep the feast not with the old leaven nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth oh Acts 8, 18, 20 through 23. And when Simon saw that through the laying on the apostle hands, the Holy Spirit was given. He offered them money trying to buy this power. Give, give me also this power for anyone whom I lay hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, your money perish with you because you thought that the gift of God could be purchased with money. You have neither part nor portion in this matter for your heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent therefore of this, of your wickedness and pray God that perhaps the thought of your heart may be may be forgiven to you for i see that you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity unforgiveness is what poison the cost of unforgiveness you see many people in spiritual bondage due to unforgiveness it's a common source of bondage and demonic harassment as jesus warns us about it and the lord said and delivered him into the tormentors remember what the master did he delivered him into the tormentors so he should pay all that was due to him so likewise shall my heavenly father also do unto you if you from your heart forgive not one of your brothers their trespasses if you don't want to forgive people but you won't expect god to forgive you you will be held accountable for that that is nothing less than a strong literal warning that a person can fall into the hands of demonic spirits and torment and harassment if they are unforgiving and bitter inside I've seen it again and again it's an uncommon sense to find a person harassed by demons because of bitterness in their heart bitterness is also known in the Bible as spiritual poison and I say it all the times those are the portals to demonic attachment when your heart is unforgiving today I'm praying that you begin to release forgiveness that your hit this becomes a prayer list in the mighty name of Jesus Christ 
You remember what he says? I see that you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity. Unforgiveness not only gives demons the right or ability to torment us, but it also prevents God from forgiving our own sins. Now, this is serious. This means that when we cry out to God for help, we have unforgiveness in our heart. He looks down on our sins or, or before him. It puts a wall in our relationship with our heavenly father. Jesus was very clear that we are to if we are to be forgiven, we cannot be unforgiven towards those who have offended us or hurt us. You have to forgive whether they deserve it or not. You have to. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. That's in Matthew 6, 15. Forgiveness is not just about saying the words. It's an active process in which you make a conscious decision to let go of the negative feelings, whether the person deserves it or not. I say it all the time. You can't just say, I forgive my enemies. You have to mean it. And God knows when you when you let go of those negative feelings, God knows when you mean it inside and said, I don't want, I, like I said, I don't hate the murders of my brother. I'm angry with what they did, but those feelings of hating, they're away. And I might be angry at the situation, but I forgive you. And I want good things to happen to you. I want you to listen to this podcast and say, how can this man speak this over me? Whether you believe that I mean it or not, I want good things inside my heart. I want this family to be saved. I want them to experience salvation. I want them to, to serve the true and living God that I serve, that they can understand why I do it and why I love Jesus and why they love Jesus. Like one day I would love to be face to face and say, man, you understand. You hurt me, but I forgive you. What you meant for evil at that moment, God used for good in my life. And because I opened up my eyes to Christ and surrendered, today I'm set free. Today God has, has used me in a little part, of, a little part he has used me in a big plan that he has. And I'm so grateful for that. Even though I didn't understand it then, even though it could have destroyed me, me turning to God, me making my hit list until my prayer list set me free from all bondage and all bitterness and all iniquity and poison. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hebrews 12, 15 says, Looking carefully, lest anyone shall fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness spring it up, cause trouble. And by this, many people become defiled. Hebrews says, notice the word many in above verse. This is the very common means for people to become defiled and open themselves up for spiritual harassment from the enemy because they let bitterness spring up and it causes trouble. They let resentment spring up and it causes trouble. They let envy and jealousy become attached to these feelings and all of a sudden they they don't want to see people blessed they don't want to make peace with nobody they don't want to restore relationships they don't want to go and save the one who's drifted away from god i'm not saying go after the prodigal because the prodigal son and the and the son the, the, the one who drifted away two different things the prodigal's dad never went after the one after the prodigal son even when the prodigal son ran out of his money i never heard in the bible that the prodigal's dad said hey send him send him some money because if he did that he would he would have never came to his senses matter of fact they told they told the prodigal's dad hey your son's in the pig pen he said let him stay in the pig pen because he'll come to his senses sometimes you just got to let the prodigal go let them go the one who causing uh, trouble in the ministry trouble in the church let them go don't, don't go after them let them go let them go because you know what when they come to the senses in the pig pen then they'll come back with an unrepentant with godly sorrow with true repentance and you can make amends that doesn't mean that you hate them because you let them out there you got to know the difference when to go when not to go you go after the one god tells you to go after not the one who says i know what i have here at home dad i know what i hear have here at home bro but i want to go do what i go do and when they leave they leave in rebellion they leave in a way that shows they don't care because they go and do their own pleasure their own desires and pretty soon they come to an end of self but they come to their senses and when they come back home they come with a full heart undivided and they love jesus know the difference you just can't go after everybody you have to have the spirit of god and the wisdom of god to know when to go sometimes i block people sometimes i just distance myself so i don't get caught up in the drama i don't get caught up in for me because i'm human brother brian could i could say something that that are really affected and even though they're they're, they're spitting spew and they're, and they're throwing shots and stones and it hurts because these are people that i love these are people that i really care about even I have to say, man, Lord, okay, protect me so I don't so I don't make a mess of, of what you got in front of me. Show me how to love. And the first thing God says is forgive them, Brian. He doesn't say he doesn't say chase after them. He says forgive them, so it doesn't poison you. Because I have work for you to do, young man. I have work for you to do, my soldier. And I, I, you can't be preaching love and forgiveness if you have yuck, yuck. This goes for the leaders out there. You can't call yourself a man of God, a woman of God. And all you do is, is you keep unforgiveness towards people that, that wronged you. You keep unforgiveness towards people that hurt you all your life. But you're in the pulpit. You're singing songs to Jesus. But you don't, you're not sharing the love of Jesus and the forgiveness. You're only giving it to people. like, and, and it's not genuine. It's not authentic. You can't do that. You have to find a place to repent and say, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for... for 
moving in a way that dishonors you because I'm doing all the right things on the outside, but on the inside, I'm wicked. On the inside, I'm poison. On the inside, I'm bitter and it's showing. And I don't want to disciple bitter disciples. I don't want to disciple immature disciples. I want to disciple vessels who love the way you love, not the way Brian loves, the way Jesus loves, the way Jesus moves, the heartbeat of the Father. Come on, you guys get it? These are some things that belong to God. Unforgiveness is actually taking something that belongs to God and, talk, and taking matters into your own hands. God's word tells us clearly that we should allow God to bring his wrath upon that person and let him have room to repay those who wrong us. I don't even want that to happen, but the way God deals with people is the way God deals with people, right? Romans 12, 19 says, Beloved, do not avenge yourself, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Those who have wronged us will reap what they sow. If you choose to forgive somebody, they may be off your, off your hook, but that doesn't mean that they're off God's hook, right? God's word tells us clearly what, that what we sow, we shall reap. It says in Galatians 6, 7, do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever a man sows that he will also reap. Unforgiveness is actually a form of hate against another person. If a person hates somebody, it is a sign that the person is lacking love in their heart. Yes, why? Because they are not firmly rooted and grounded in the love of Jesus Christ. And Christ's love is not flowing through them. As simple as that sounds, that's how it works. What somebody may have done against us is one thing, but if you take Satan's bait of unforgiveness to your heart, it will do much more to, to you than than, it, than they did to you Does that make sense If you take the bait from Satan The snare from Satan The unforgiveness from Satan You're going to end up hurting yourself More than these people have hurt you And that is the truth So I'm telling you today Make sure that you're not allowing the enemy To trick you to, to, to Like a fish and boom You know I like the fish Like a bait Oh I got him All it took was offense Boom I got him All it took was for him to get mad Or jealous Or I got him Now, now everybody's going to get the poison Amen Don't, don't let that happen the only reason you're holding on to these feelings is because it might feel good to you inside, man. I, ain't, I, ain't got, I can do what I got to do. Ain't that pride? Look, one thing about evil, when it's in your heart, it comes out your mouth. I don't got to forget nobody. Man, God knows my heart. Like, you're very prideful with your words, evil with your words. And what's, when evil's in your heart, it comes out your eyes. You can see pride in their eyes. You can see pride in the way they, they posture themselves. You can see pride in the, in the way they look down on others. I'm better than you. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a God. That's not a God. And repent. If that's you, repent today. Say, man, I don't want to be prideful. I don't want to be evil. Okay? And this dude don't even know me and it's convicting me right now. Acts 8, 23 says, For that I see that you are poisoned by bitterness and bound by iniquity. Iniquity. The reason Satan wants you to hold on to that bitterness is because it is poison to your soul. Jesus said that the devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. Satan wants to do just that. No wonder Satan makes unforgiveness feel good. He wants your soul to be poisoned. Do not let him do this to you. Stop him dead in his tracks. Release yourself from those hurt feelings and let them go. Stop holding on to those feelings and let that poison out of your soul. Let me give you a, 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 just a couple things that, that can help you right now. Acknowledge your anger. Instead of pushing your anger into, into these areas of your mind and refusing to deal with it, acknowledge, I'm angry. Yes, I'm angry at you guys. I'm angry at her. I'm angry at them. I'm just angry, Lord. Right? Begin to tackle those emotions and find a solution to the problem. How do you do that? You filter it through the word of God. You filter it. Why you can't be bitter? Why you can't be resentful? You, you acknowledge first, I am angry. You acknowledge first, there's a problem in my heart. I'm feeling frustrated. Now you start to filter it through the things of God. But but, but I should not be anxious. I should not be, I should not hate my brother. I, I, gotta, I gotta find a solution for peace. I gotta find a solution for compassion. I gotta find a solution for love. Listen, re realize why you are angry. Look deep within yourself and ask yourself why you're upset. Many times anger and hatred comes from a place of fear, insecurity, or self-defense. Once you find the root of your anger, ask yourself if your physical and mental health are worth the struggle. You need to be honest with self. Sometimes the most insecure person can always be the person to cause conflict and anger and different because they haven't dealt with self, jealousy, all these emotions. It, it might not even be that situation. It might have came from the past, these roots that they haven't dealt with. They just got to face self. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Step back for a moment. In the heat of the moment, it can be hard to make a, a good decision. So you got to step back. Just don't just don't say, I'm never talking to you again. Like, that's what I do. Like, remember I say I have to block people sometimes when they're saying evil things to me. So I don't say evil things back. I block. And then I sit back and, and I forgive. <sighs> then I ask God to help me say the right things when it's time. 
because it helps me and, and I know me like I know me man like I'm, I'm human so when I hear you disrespect my brothers or disrespect God's ministry and what's called man I want to disrespect my pastor or somebody I'm affiliated with that I know is real like I want to speak up and, and let you know man hold up check yourself you know but for me I got to block you and let me forgive you first in my heart wish good things for you and under, try to understand it my, my fight is not in the physical it's in the spiritual and the enemy's trying to bait me so I could be poisoned and bound by iniquity so I don't be a, a, a healthy brother Brian that's ministering for his kingdom I could be a, a, a bitter brother Brian that's trying to poison people like you got to be aware of the enemy's schemes he's out to kill steal and destroy he wants division in your marriage divorce in your marriage he wants depression and suicide he wants you to lack confidence and, and a low self-esteem but greater is he who lives in me hey i am fearfully and wonderfully made i know that that god has called me to have healthy emotions confidence and boldness and authority in him his love that is filled with supernatural to love the unlovable to go when it's time to go and find the brother that drifts and win him over not, not convict him and tell him all the condemning what he does but to win him over in love and say man don't even worry about that i love you and let god deal with him let god deal with his heart you know what i mean like God, you deal with him. I just want to let him know there's hope in you. When you tell me go, I'm going, Lord. Amen. Deal with the issue. Unresolved anger can seriously affect your health and happiness. Instead of ignoring the issue, many people don't ignore it. And what they do is they let people offend them and hurt them. And they, they're angry about it, but they just get, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then next thing you know, it takes one little thing. And everything that they've been building up and ignoring, it avalanches like a, like a volcano on somebody. And you begin to pour out spirit spewing out poison spewing out bitterness and you're at work and this dude, this dude just met you and all he did was take a long lunch break and all of a sudden you're like you know what and you're ready to fist fight because you haven't dealt with you one person one person doesn't share your thing on facebook or somebody at church doesn't give you a high five or or somebody left you out of a dinner or whatever it is and all of a sudden all these years of ignoring the real issue now you're bleeding on people that never cut you it didn't even cut you that deep they might have hurt you but it's not that crucial for you to blame them for every rooted issue that you ignored like deal with the issue let God deal with you today to be cleansed I want you to be free today I want to hear awesome praise reports that you guys are experiencing freedom tonight man in the name of Jesus Christ talk to about talk to people about what's on your mind don't 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 be that person that don't talk talk to people about what's on your mind don't be afraid to confront the conflict you don't confront it you condone it it's not what you say, it's how you say it. In the tone of voice, in the way, look, man, my feelings are hurt. Or look, man, I feel offended by what you did. Or you know, when you talk to people like this in the right tone, and and, 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 and you being honest, you know, they might not receive it the right way. I don't care. Okay, well, I'm letting you know that it offended me. At least you're doing your part where you can, and you tell God, look, I, I try to go to him the right way, Lord. He didn't want to receive. God, you deal with him, Father God. I love him, I wish the best for him, God. I'm just going to distance myself till you told me to go after him. God, just, just uh, fill me up so, so I don't allow to be angry. And if they keep doing it, you know what I mean? Like, God, things are unfair sometimes, man. Trust me, man. I got haters from everywhere, man. Man, I mean everywhere. They don't even know me. People just mad. I can't, I can't wear a, 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 a good shirt. I can't drive a good car. I can't. I can't have nothing in my bank account for my family. I've been working all these years. I can't store nothing for my family without them trying to say, oh, you shouldn't have that. Or, or you, you know, Brother Brian, like, bro, you don't know what that money's for. You don't know if that's if that's to finish paying this house off or if this is for this part of the... Like, that's none of your business, bro. So, so for you, for people to just say things and just to cause discord and hatred, like, man, I still got to forgive them, man. I forgive you, man. You know... I know you're trying to stir a trouble. I know you're trying to stir a fire, but God bless you in the name of Jesus. I wish good things for you, man. I'm not, I, I refuse to catch that bait of bitterness. I refuse to catch what Satan trying to feed me to make me feel the way you feel. Because you know what? I'll end up destroying myself more than letting you destroy me. I'll be the I'll be the one that destroys me. And that's what I'm saying today. Unforgiveness will make you destroy you. Don't allow Satan to get the last laugh on that, man. God's called us to be free and to love and to be vessels. And I'm just trying to give you the, the keys of freedom. Let go of the unhealthy thought pattern. Everybody's not against you. I know some people did you wrong, but that doesn't mean that the next person is going to do you wrong. I've seen great blessings be blocked by having that mindset that everybody in your path is going to be a fake friend to you. Want to know how I know that? Because I had fake friends my whole life, too. And, and it made me look at everybody like, man, you're going to be fake, too. Because I went hard for my brothers. I went crazy hard, bro. Like... Everything I got yours, man. I'm busting guns. I'm catching cases. Like, I thought, man, like these dudes know that it is dead. It's whatever with me, with them. And even and even going forward in ministry, being saved, like I take that mindset of, of loyalty and love and I go hard for them. 
beaten, you know, I get stabbed, I get licked, I spit on, and, and I'm like, man, Lord, I'm never gonna find a good brother, man. I'm never gonna find nobody like woo woo. <laughs> like, man, even he, man, but you know what? I have, I found great brothers. I found good brothers in Christ. And I had to get that mindset, that think unhealthy thinking pattern that everybody's not gonna do me wrong. God sent me Pastor Fred. God sent me Pancho. God sent me Jerry. God sent me Antoine. God sent me JP. God sent me uh, all these brothers out there, man. So many brothers, Fred. God sent me pe good people that are good to me, man. God sent me good brothers that don't, they don't care about Kingdom Music. They love Kingdom Music, but they love Brian. They love Monica, man. They love me as a person, man. Pastor AT, man, shout out to the whole team. I can name a, a, a list of brothers that got, that they don't want to do me wrong. And even in the midst of other brothers that do me wrong, it's okay. They're going to be there. But I'm not going to let that affect my, my, my way of thinking no more. I'm not going to let that unhealthy pattern. I might meet fake homeboys. It's okay. I'm going to love them anyways. I'm going to forgive them anyways. I'm prepared. If I get let down, I get let down. It's okay. God's not going to let me down. And even in the midst of being let down, God is teaching me something. Can you love the way I love, Brian? Can you love the way I love? Will you, will you keep loving? Don't give up. These are just tests, man. The jewels on the crown. When you get that crown and you lay it at Jesus' feet, these, imagine the jewels of, of every time that you love the unlovable. Imagine the compassion that you gave the one who was, who was hate, hateful towards you. Imagine the food that you shared with those who were using you. You fed your enemies. And God's given you and decorated this beautiful crown of righteousness for you. And they keep pres they, you, you're presented with this crown and your eyes are, your eyes are just so, oh my God, is it for me, Jesus? And then you lay it right back down at his feet and say, oh, you deserve this crown, God. This is your fruit. Oh, I love you. Thank you for thinking about me. Hey, man. God, help me love the way you love, Lord. We all experience anger and hatred at some point in our lives. It's natural to feel angry about something as long as you know how to deal with your anger so that it doesn't negative, uh, in a negative way affect your health and your well-being. Remember that anger comes from within, and it could just be as easy to eliminate anger as to suppress it or to hold it in. In fact, sometimes it's easier to just let something go than to carry on and being upset. If you can learn how to tackle your anger and deal with your anger, at its root and resolve your negative feelings without lashing out your, on yourself or others, you will already be one step further on the path to health, happiness, and forgiving yourself. Amen. Listen, man, God has many things he wants you to experience, man. The power of forgiveness, y'all. The Bible says in 1 Ephesians 4.32, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ God forgave you. 2 Matthew 6.14, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Colossians 3.13, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you have a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgives you. 4 Luke 6 37 do not judge and you will not be judged do not condemn and you will not be condemned forgive and you will be forgiven Matthew 18 21 to 22 then Peter said to Jesus remember how many times must I forgive my brother Lord seven times and Jesus says I tell you not seven times but 77 times Psalm 86 5 says you Lord are forgiven and good abounding in love to all who call you thank you Jesus Mark 11 25 and when you stand praying if you hold anything against anyone forgive them so that your father in heaven may also forgive your sins I hope you're catching on y'all Psalm 32 1 says blessed is the one who transgressions are forgiven whose sins are covered one more Matthew 6 15 but if you do not forgive others their sins your father will not forgive your sins first John 1 19 here goes if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness does that sound like a god who wants to see you set free sounds like a god who wants to see me set free oh i love you jesus i love you jesus i pray right now hebrews 8 12 for if i forgive their wickedness i will remember their sins no more for i will forgive their wickedness and i will remember their sins no more lord help us to forgive and forget lord help us to forgive and forget like you do god i heard i heard somebody say i forgive but i don't forget you know what i want to forget too lord help me to forget god because you the way you forgive is different the way brian forgives i forgive and don't want to forget but you know what you forgive and you forget and that's the love and 
and the joy that I want in my life. I want somebody out there right now to be set free in the mighty name of Jesus. Proverbs 17, 9 says, love prospers when a fault is forgiven, but dwelling on it separates close friends. I choose to love and forgive. There's somebody out there that might be mad at me. I know a couple people I can name that, that's, that, that maybe cause trouble or what's caught. I want to let you know I forgive you. Forgive me if I offended you. Forgive me if I didn't do something I was supposed to do in a way that you, you, you thought I should have done it. I'm human, bro. I'm human, sis. Forgive me. I'm still learning as I grow. Brother Brian does not have it all together. I failed so many times as a husband. I failed as a father, as a soldier, and a son. I'm still learning, man. Have mercy and grace on me, please. As I, as I try to get it together, I don't hate nobody. I don't hate you. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. I might be mad at the situation, but I wish peace and blessings over your church, over your household, over your marriage, over the things that you're doing in ministry, or whether you're not in ministry. This is going for everybody out there. Man, I, I, I wish good things from inside my heart. I forgive you, and I ask that you forgive me because we want to be forgiven, and that's the key to freedom. And I want you to wake up. To, I want you to go to sleep tonight free. I want you to go to sleep tonight in your heart saying, man, Maybe I'm tripping, you know what I mean? Let, let me deal with the issue of the root. Is it really this or is this something from the past that needs to be dealt with? Maybe I haven't shared this forgiveness with others because I haven't experienced the real forgiveness in my heart, you know? So I pray that tonight helps set you free. We turned our hit list into a prayer list. If you haven't did it, watch the video at the end. Make sure that you're being honest with yourself. Holy Spirit, have your way. I love you guys. Jesus, love you guys. Uh, I had an awesome time tonight, man, with you guys, man. And let me let me go out one more time with this song. This song really, really spoke spoke values to me tonight. I love this, man. In the name of Jesus, He is the Great I Am. Come on, y'all, hands to heaven, y'all. Who is this that walks on water? Yo. Who is this to split the sea? They call the Holy Father, the one who sent his son for me. He said he is the broken hearted. He said he loves us all the same. He came to take us out of the darkness. Can someone please tell me his name? What's his name? Y'all know it? He's the great I am. 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 Lord, please take my hand. Take my hand. Save this man. Drinking liquor, man, and smoking weed just polluted me. A hypocrite's quoting scripture, yeah, that confuses me. I'm still a friend to the ones I know who ain't true to me. I'm still a friend, even though I know you like using me. I can't pretend to be something I know I'm not So I'm, I'm holding on to the Lord Cause it's all I got, hey You ever sit back and wonder why you ain't growing Wonder why you ain't glowing Like you don't know where you going Hey, you can choose to be mad at me That's okay But let me share some truth with you Then you go on your way One, hey You need a teachable heart I can tell that you get mad though When I speak to your heart You got evil, you got pride You got deceit in your heart That needs to flee from your heart, let me plant a seed in your heart and help it grow. Oh, this world could be cold, but the living water of Christ could penetrate through your soul. It could cleanse you from within, then it works on the outside. Your spirit man looks thirsty, I could tell cause your mouth dry. And hey, holy, 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 holy is his name. Hey, J-E-S-U-S, I tell all your partners the same. All your partners the vain, all your partners the slain. They better make a change if they don't, then they won't remain. Uh. You be a victim, a statistic of the murder rate And after that you won't enter into the pearly gates Burning the lake, you can't escape, man, all the human screams The men and women who suffer for doing stupid things The great I am, so merciful and so kind I pray that you repent, that you repent while there's still time, yo who is this that walks on water? Give him heaven podcast. Who is this to split the sea? You're live with Brother Brian. The one that called a holy father. Oh, King Jesus. The one who sent his son for me. He say he is a broken hearted. Yeah, that's right. They say he loves us all the same. I love you, Jesus. He came to take us out of the darkness. 
Can someone please tell me his name? What's his name? Y'all seen? He's the great I am. Come on, hashtag great I am. He's the great I am. He is love, forgiveness. He's the great I am. Patience, self-control, hope, glory, redemption. He's the great Salvation. I am. Oh, Jesus, you get the glory tonight. He's the great forgiveness I am. set you free. You tuning in with Brother Brian. Hit this into a playlist. I hope you really do that. Apply it. Take this Don't wisdom and apply it. Take my hand. Say this, man. Oh, yeah, Kingdom Music. I'm out, man. Hope you had an awesome time with me, man. I usually just tune in. Prayers and blessings upon you, your family, and everybody who's here tonight, man. In the mighty